Hi everyone, this is Reverie reporting for DIY Sem, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY Bunsen burner. So, what you're going to need is you're going to need a lighter, scissors, a nail, a hammer, a jar, of course, to hold your um, rubbing alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and rope. Um, you don't want, like, rope that's, um, like, melts at the end. What you want is, like, kind of, like, stuff like this. Twine, not twine, but, like, this kind of rope. Like, not, like, the brand, brand, brand new rope. Like, try to find, like, old rope, like, around your house, like, clothesline rope and all that stuff. So, first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this, take your hammer, and your nail, and you're going to want to find the center of this. Make a hole in it. Now, obviously, this can't fit in here. So, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to make a couple holes. Make sure to be careful with this, so that you don't hurt yourself with the hammer or this metal. So, probably like one more hole, like right here, and it'll be good. There you go. Alright. All right. That seems like to be a big enough hole. So now what you want to do is you want to get a nice piece of your rope. I'd say like maybe about... Uh, let's see. Two, like two inches. I don't need to measure it exactly and be it exact. Just enough that it won't it all peek it at the top. Alright, so you're having some... Alright, so we're going to need to do another hole. The only problem is you don't want the holes to be, like, extremely big because, well, you don't want the alcohol, like, all going all over the place. Pieces like that. Just do that. And what you want to do is just insert this rope. Make sure that it's jammed in there. There we go. Alright, perfect. Now that we have that, you're all set to put the alcohol in. And we're basically towards the end of this now. Take your rubbing alcohol, pour some in here. Up to that. And then what you can also do is just basically oh, oops. do that. Yeah. And then what doing that at the bottom does is that eventually is it's gonna like seep in everywhere. So let me get a paper towel actually or tissue just to rub the extra off. I did. Yeah, it smells. All right. So now that you did that, what you want to do? Take your lighter, and you can light the top. That is your DIY Bunsen burner. Pretty cool, right? Thank you for watching this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit our website, DIY STEM. Link will be down in the description, and stay tuned for more from our, from our YouTube channel. Thank you.